Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking it up from the topic of permutations and combinations. And we are continuing of our series of questions on JWE Advanced. So today's question, we have taken it up from the year 2015. And if you see the question, it is telling us, let n be the number of ways in which five boys and five girls can be made to stand in a queue with the condition that five girls are standing consecutively one after the other. So that is given to us that five girls should be together. And we have been also told that M is your number of ways in which five boys and five girls are again standing in a queue, but with a condition that says four girls are consecutively one after the other. So now in the M number of ways we have been given a condition that four girls are together. And after finding this, we have been asked to find the ratio of N. So that is the question given to us. And there are four options. A is 3, B is 4, C is 5, and D is 6. So we need to figure out which one of them will be the correct one. Let's see the solution. So we already know an idea that N different things can be arranged in a straight line. So n people also can be arranged in a straight line in n factorial ways, right? So I can arrange n people in a straight line in n factorial ways. So if I try to figure out the m n number of ways first where five goals are together, so if I show it to you, let's say goals are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, g, 1, g, 2, g, 3, g, 4, g. And when they want to be together, I'll place them in one single group and the other people that are left with are five boys. Now this five boys can be anywhere. So we'll consider this five girls as one single person. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This six people can be arranged in a straight line in any n number of ways. So n people can be arranged in n factorial ways. Six people, that is one group. Second person, third person, fourth person, fifth person, and sixth person. So we are considering them as separate groups. So six groups can be arranged in a straight line in six factorial And once we are arranging this six people in six factorial ways, this five people in one group, which we have taken them as together, this five girls in one group can be arranged among themselves in five factorial ways. So we get the value for n as 6 factorial into 5 factorial. Now if I try to convert it in terms of 5 factorial, it becomes 6 into 5 factorial. So you get 6 into square of 5 factorial. So that becomes our value of n that is equal to 6 into 5 factorial square. Get this idea? Now let's talk about finding m. And M is the number of ways where four girls are one after the other. So let's find them. Now in that we have two cases. One case is when the four girls are at the corner. So four girls are at the corner means if I try to show it to you, how would they look like? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are the ten places I can have. Out of five girls, I can choose, first of all, any four of them to be arranged. That can be done in 5p4 ways. So 5p4 ways tells us the number of ways in, I can, in which I can arrange four girls at one side of the corner. It can be on the left or it can be on the right. So any four girls out of five can be arranged on any one side of the corner. So it can be here or it can be here. So again, there are two options available. It can be on the left corner or it can be at the right. So first what we did was we selected out of five, four girls and arranged them together. So that can be done in five, three, four ways. 
because we are arranging these four girls also. And then I multiplied it with two because those four girls are at the corner. They must be on the left corner or they can be on the right corner. So they can choose any one of the corners. So two options there. Now, once you have placed four girls, the fifth girl cannot be together with the four girls. So the fifth girl, if you see, if I talk about this positioning, the fifth girl cannot occupy this position. The fifth girl, if cannot occupy this position, she has five positions to fill into. So five options for the fifth girl. Even if I talk about the right hand side, the fifth girl cannot be in this position. So again, she can be any or she can fill any one position out of the five. So again, five options there. And once the fifth girl occupies any one out of the five positions, you are left with five positions to be filled. And those five positions can be filled with five boys in five factorials. So you get here 5p4, that is five factorial. This becomes 2 into 5, 10. This is again 5. So you get here 10 into 5 factorial. So this is one case. Now let's see the second case. Case 2 can be when the girls are not at the corner. Now when the girls are not at the corner again, but I have to put four girls together. So first thing we will do same as the previous case that out of five we will have to select four girls and arrange them. So that's why we are using permutations. That gives us five factorial. Now, when I have to arrange these four girls, let's see the options that are available to us. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we don't need this. So if I see that I do not have to place them at the corner, I can have the four girls starting from G1 to G4. Or I can start from here G1 to G4. Or from here G1 to G4. Or from here G1 to G4. So basically, I can place the four girls in one, two, three, four, and five arrangements possible. So this four girls can be placed in any one out of the five arrangements that can be done in five ways. Now, suppose if the four girls are here, not at the corner, let's say if I have this four girls here, the fifth girl cannot occupy this position as well as this position because the four girls only have to be together. The fifth girl cannot be together. So the fifth girl only has four options to go into. So I'll multiply by four. And again, the five boys that are left can occupy any of the five positions. So that can be done with five factorials. So you get from here five factorial into 20 into 10. So you get this as 20 into five factorial. And into five factorial. So 20 into five factorial square. So if you add both the cases, you get m number of ways. That is 10 into square of five factorial plus 20 also into square of 5 factorial, that makes it 30 into square of 5. You get m, you get n, m upon n becomes 30 into square of 5 factorial. This was 6 into 5. Cancelling out this, you get 30 by 6, that comes out to become 5. So you get the answer of the ratio, that is equal to 5. And if you see the option that matches here with the question, so C is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions where we have been asked to arrange the people in a straight line with some conditions such that five girls are together or four girls are together. So when there is a five girls together case, you can easily consider them as one single group or one single person and arrange them. And after arranging them, you can also consider the rearrangement of five pixels. So five girls can be rearranged in five factorials. And when you had to arrange four girls together, you had two cases where case one, you can arrange them at the corners. 
you get 10 into 5 factorial square ways and you can have the second case where the girls, four girls which are present are not at the corners. So when they are not at the corners, you can arrange them in 20 into 5 factorial square ways. The total number of ways in which four girls are together will become 30. And once you take the ratio, you get that as 5, that matches with option C. So that's the correct answer. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JWD. Thank you.